the crowd is booing and they're kind of upset with how the offense is going, how do you drown that out and obviously try to get a win? I don't really try to pay attention to it, honestly. I heard them booing, but I didn't know who they were booing. Um, no, yeah, it's just you know, football, you know, the supporters, and we know we got to execute, but you got to give them credit to it. They, they dialed it up and did a great job. I think it's time to have an honest discussion about Colts quarterback Anthony Richardson and really how bad he's been playing this season. I guess I would call it in his limited action, but I still think it's worth talking about and really the future landscape for him in the National Football League. Now, Richardson is only entering his second year. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. And the book on him coming out of college was that he was going to be a very raw player, but he has a sky-high upside due to his size, his athleticism, his rocket for an arm. And if he got the right coaching and the right situation, which many people thought it could be with Shane Steichen, he would develop and emerge as one of the best quarterbacks in the league and kind of have like a Josh Allen type of career arc. But personally, I would say in his first two seasons, he hasn't really shown a ton of flashes of being like that Josh Allen caliber type of player. As a rookie, he only played in four games, and I think he only started and finished two of those games. He completed just under 60% of his passes for 577 yards, three touchdowns to one interception, but he did look fairly electric on the ground. 25 carries for over 130 yards and four touchdowns. It was a weapon that Steichen really utilized in the red zone for the Colts and really helped out their offense score early in the season. But running Richardson time and time again in his early game action there then became an underlying factor about how Richardson can really play in the NFL because in week two of that season against the Houston Texans he suffered a concussion so he was ruled out for the game he came back two weeks later maybe had the best game of his career against the Los Angeles Rams but then the following week against the Tennessee Titans he suffered a season-ending shoulder injury he missed the rest of the season and that was kind of the end of his rookie year Richardson spends the entire rest of the year and the offseason really recovering from that injury ramping up for his second season and again this year, early on in the season, he's running and he does not slide. He takes a hit to his hip and he misses two games then as well. So we have a pretty decent sample size now over the first two years of Richardson's career of him not being able to stay healthy. So yeah, there's still a lot of area for improvement. He's still one of the youngest quarterbacks in the entire National Football League. And that is really the only saving grace that I feel like Colts fans or people that are big believers in Anthony Richardson can kind of push back with when you do criticize his play the first two years of his career. It's, hey, the Colts knew he was a project. They knew he was going to be an erratic player early on. It's now up to Steichen to continue to develop him. He needs more live game reps. And then eventually he will catch on and he will emerge as that really elite player that we kind of thought he was going to be when we drafted him. And that argument is fine to have. I do think that's a fairly decent rationale as to why Richardson can develop and become a lot better of a player. But my kind of point is, is after watching him these first two years and seeing how they've played out with the injuries, and even when he's on the field, really struggling just hit the layup throws time and time again. I mean, this past Sunday against the Miami Dolphins, who rolled out Tim Boyle and Tyler Huntley as their two starting quarterbacks because Huntley got hurt in the game, I think you could make a case that Richardson was the worst quarterback on the field that given day. He was 10 of 24 for 129 yards and did not have a touchdown in the game. He was skipping balls all over the field. He could not find an open receiver. He just seemed very uncomfortable just standing in the pocket, scanning the field, and then finding an open wide receiver. It got to the point where late in the fourth quarter when the Colts needed a couple of plays to actually pull out the victory against the Dolphins, Steichen just said, you know what? We're just not gonna pass the ball anymore. And Richardson had 14 carries in the ball game, I think one of the most of his career. So I think Steichen kind of realized himself that we're just not going to win this game if I keep having Richardson drop back and pass because we are just not efficient enough on offense. He's just not finding the open receivers. And at this point, I feel like the only value that Richardson is bringing to an offense is his rushing ability. But as I've stated throughout this video, you can't really rely on that a ton because he's not very durable. And so that puts the Colts and their organization just in a very tough spot because you want to see this player develop. You need to get him right. You need to see if he was worth that top five pick and if he can be your franchise quarterback. But it is so hard to win games and have your team kind of rally behind this player when he just cannot complete easy completions. And to make matters worse, when your backup quarterback is Joe Flacco and when he's in, the offense is dominating. I mean, the Colts have a lot of really nice players across their offense. Their offensive line is fairly good. Jonathan Taylor, I know he's injured right now, but when he's playing, is one of the best running backs in the league. Josh Downs in the slot is really good. You have Alec Pierce. You have Michael Pittman Jr. You have your new rookie wide receiver and Adonai Mitchell. I mean, they're pretty loaded with weapons. And Joe Flacco, he was utilizing them 
very, very well. I made a TikTok about Anthony Richardson and the situation. There's a lot of people in my comments saying, as a Josh Downs fantasy owner, I'm very upset that Joe Flacco is not playing right now. Because I mean, when Downs was playing with Flacco, he was a very, very productive player and he just does not get the same targets or catches with Richardson at the helm. So honestly, I think any objective person, even any objective Colt fan, I do think could agree that Joe Flacco does currently give the Colts the best chance to win on Sunday. And if they did start Joe Flacco the rest of the season, they probably have a decent chance to make the postseason. Now, obviously that's never gonna happen because Richardson, he's still a year two player. He was their top five pick just a season ago. And as an organization and as a coaching staff, you kind of, in a sense, tied your job and career to Richardson. You have to see if he can improve, if you can get the most out of him. But I just don't see this team making a postseason push with their current play at quarterback. It's just not going to work for them to be efficient enough on offense to score enough points to win. So for the rest of the season, I think the Colts and Shane Steichen are really just gonna have to work through these things with Richardson and just continue to give him reps because that's really the only thing at this point that I think are going to improve him. And as a staff, you just gotta hope that he feels a little bit more comfortable in the pocket. He's willing to stand in there, make some nice throws. He can process the field a little bit better, have a little bit better of a game sense. And only time will tell if he can develop those things. But I would just say that we have a long history of a lot and a lot of quarterbacks never really being able to find those things. And Josh Allen really just might be a huge outlier and one of these alien type of quarterbacks that have amazing physical attributes, really being able to fix things like touch and accuracy. And maybe Anthony Richardson just ends up being like Trey Lance or Zach Wilson, players that have really good physical attributes, but just don't really know how to play football or how to play the quarterback position. Because at the end of the day, there is more to the game than just having a very strong arm and having great athleticism. And that's while we see other quarterbacks in the NFL that aren't super physically gifted, like Jared Goff, who can't move very well, or Brock Purdy, who's not a super physical specimen as well, be a lot better quarterbacks in Richardson because they do have a better feel for the game and better overall just attributes in terms of playing the quarterback position, like accuracy, anticipation, timing, all of those things. Now, if the Colts could have gone back in time, would they have changed their selection of Anthony Richardson? I don't think so. And I really wouldn't advise them to change it either. Bryson was the number one overall pick. CJ Stroud was the number two overall pick. I don't think you were going to have an opportunity to get either one of those guys. So you were kind of left with Anthony Richardson or Will Levis. And I think Anthony Richardson has proven to still be an even better player than Will Levis. And I think his upside is still higher than Levis's. And I personally was also an advocate for taking Richardson over Bryce Young just because of those physical attributes and really just trying to swing for the fences. Yeah, most of the time it probably doesn't work, but I think at this point of the NFL, when you're going up against players like Patrick Mahomes, like Lamar Jackson, like Josh Allen, most of the time, unless you can build a really good roster around your team, like the Lions have, for example, or the 49ers around their quarterback, you are going to need a quarterback that has elite characteristics to match up against those other quarterbacks. So I understood the selection of Anthony Richardson. I supported the selection of Anthony Richardson, but I do think it's gotten off to a pretty rough rough start so far and we will see in due time if it can turn itself around and Richardson can develop but at this point I'm just not very optimistic that is going to happen but I want to know what you think about Anthony Richardson in his career so far do you still think he can be developed into one of the best quarterbacks in the league or do you have a lot of questions regarding the future of him like I do let me what you think in the comment section down below but subscribe to the channel if you are new drop a like in the video if you did enjoy it and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next one